I'm not done yet. Uh, let's see. Do I want to just... I'm trying to take as little as possible from nearby... Uh, near my town, just to keep it nice looking. Yeah, there's some kind of blight wiping out the trees, too. Eee. This whole plant, uh... Or not this plant. This whole, uh, music situation is kind of amusing. Bit annoying because we're just hearing burp, 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 burp forever, but that's okay. Alright. So, hopefully, this fence wall should be enough to keep the Drakis out. There's a small po possibility that it'll hop the front gate, but honestly, that's to be expected. Truly, what I could do is actually just wall everything in and almost. I don't know if it would matter. I guess some of my people would get, uh, get trapped on the outside. I'll go with that. That's good enough. I make it so no creature can jump up this side. And then Draki should never be able to get in. Okay. Harder on this side, though. Do we want to... Just continue the wall fence this way. Probably here. Yep. Get rid of that. Not sure why some of them are like a dark blue. I'll probably ball some of this here and there. Is that good? Yep. Oh, well, I guess I'll get that later. We Fortress Town will be unassailable until a golem or a bomb rolls in, at which point I'm in trouble. Or like a fire. This is all wood. Now, do I want... Yeah, you know what? I was using dirt earlier, but I think I'm just going to do... I'm just going to fill in everything with uh, with wood. Mildly tempting to actually sneak some random doors in the wall like this. I could do that. Oops. I guess I gotta wait for him to put two down. Huh. I don't remember it being that slow. We'll wanna probably fill in some dirt on the inside of this. You can't place that there. Ah. Or we just place a building. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure if this town's even gonna like see a whole lot of action before the end of this uh this chapter. It's okay. I think somebody was telling me the uh the requirements for like speedrun are way less uh way less of an issue in this one. I'm still not gonna meet the uh the speedrun requirements. For this chapter, if it even matters. Okay. So, for the time being...
This is probably fine. Did I get the corner? No, I didn't. There we go. What the? Ah. What do you mean you can't place that there? These are lies. I can place. I can place that there. Okay. We'll figure that out later. Hello, solitary tree in our entire town. Wait, did more Drakis attack? Well, you know what? I'll plant what I can. I wonder if seeds have some kind of internal timer on them. Or if you could actually just tear up your entire field before they're designed to, uh... to go bad. Okay. Not really sure if this is super jumpable. What I could do... This part certainly isn't jumpable. I'm just gonna smash kind of the outer outer base on this place. Because Drakis can't jump very high. Surprisingly, you'd think with wings they'd be able to get in anywhere easily. But no. They're, they're weirdly land-based. I think the only thing they can fly is, like, that one boss from Dragon Quest Builders 1? Was it the end of Chapter 2? It was like the big, it was like the big condor. And yeah, I could wall this entire thing in, but first, we must do a big murder on Slugman. And then do a bigger murder. Oh, another one. I love the fact that these guys are effectively just giant artillery monsters that shoot at you. Like, that's actually really cool. Kind of annoying, because obviously if I'm just, like, working in my town and I can suddenly randomly get hit. But at the same time, like, nice design. Okay. So by extending this, uh, Melroth sounds bored. Uh, let's see. So by extending this, we've more or less made it so the only way you can actually even reach my town is through the front. I'll have to do some testing for like, uh, you know, whether or not this actually works, but I think it will. And now all we need is a uh, gate. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make it um I'm gonna make it that they have to funnel in too. So they can't just immediately spread out. Inventory. Gates. Why? Oh. Eh. I'm not a helpful teammate. I will grant. I forgot these gates were actually too wide. Keep them distracted for a bit longer and we'll be good to go. Perfect. Okay. Now let's go light the town. Uh, let's see, can I make, can I make several of these? How many of these can I make? Nine. 19? It seems like my biggest limitation is wood. Well, let's go nuts with these. Let's see, do I want to make an arc archway? 
I could do that. It doesn't seem terribly phased by the whole torch business. But I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with how my uh, town's looking, all the same. Yeah, I can make that jump. I doubt Ghosty Pants can. You mean you can't place that there? Ow. Uh, let's see. Yeah, fine. I'll get rid of these. There we ah! Actually too fast. Okay, there we go. This is climbable. This cannot be allowed. Nothing must be climbable. Without platforming tricks. Okay, that should work. Because, yeah, if I can just jump in this way, then Malroth will just be forced to warp up. I think it's fine. Okay. We Technically this wall is tall enough to not need these fence posts, but it seems appropriate. All the entrances must either be official front gate or hardcore parkour. Yeah. I might add, like, an uh, official back gate or something, but, like, eh. Let's see. Can anything jump more than one? Not that I know of, no. Malroth is very pleased with it being harvesting time. That's good, Malroth. Okay. Well, I'm feeling considerably safer than I was earlier. Uh, let's see. So next up... Let's... Let's start working on... Uh, our double-decker house. Mainly because I've now walled myself in, so I don't actually have that much space anymore. I guess I'm gonna have to go uh, cut down some trees, but that's okay. Oh no, you can't you can't jump over those gates. Oh, I should probably put stairs uh, going into town. That seems like a good idea. Okay, so we wanna kind of range out. Oh, we don't have to collect sticks anymore. I remember sticks were, like, a, a major part of the industry for some reason, and it was kind of annoying. Okay, but yeah, we we are hungry for lumber, because there's a, there's a lot of things that we're going to need to build here. We might also have to... Oh, you know what? I bet we could put farms on top of people's roofs. That might work better. What do you guys think? More farm? Well, no, no, no. I guess let's see what we need. I'm just gonna put a roof on top of that one house, and we'll either add uh, more bedrooms or something else. Now for some light eco terrorism. Excuse me. Eco terrorism just means destroy. Uh, wait. Isn't isn't eco terrorism actually kind of the reverse? Or no, no, no. Never mind. Well. Huh. Does, 
Is eco-terrorism uh, blowing up like factories in in favor of like the environment, or just blowing up the environment for no goddamn reason? But yeah, we could do we could do green roofs on these things. Are hey, we gonna go get some stairs? I think did I didn't I have any? No, I don't have any stairs. Now let's just make a healthy supply of stairs. We do also have ladders. We do also have stuff like uh, wooden grating, which would be interesting. Oh, water can flow under. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. I'll have to think about how I want to handle that. Okay, so we want to put some things away. I love this bag system. It is so much nicer. I'm gonna put that up there for reasons. Uh, let's see. Do we want to have a gate? I guess I could have a really basic town gate. I don't. I don't know if it would actually look very good. It's okay. The main problem is nothing really matches the stairs. It's almost a Chinese arch. Yeah, kinda. I don't know. I'll work with that until we get something else. But yeah, we've got like a, a Tory gate of a sort coming in. Let's see, might want to eat. Starvation is for chumps. I should probably start cooking some more of these. Whoops. Flip the stairs upside down. I can't do that, unfortunately. That is not actually something I'm capable of doing. Uh, let's see. Probably want to move that. Huh. There is a really heavy delay on some of these sound effects. Wonder why. Are you guys getting this really heavy like sound effect delay? Huh. One second. I'm gonna see if we can fix that. I'm gonna be honest, I actually don't think I have any control over whether or not there's a heavy sound effect delay. 
it if it's on my end it's not something i can easily diagnose or fix and if it's not on my end then it's doubly not something i can do I could try re it's actually gonna bother me now that I know it's here. Like it should be fine. I don't I don't think anybody's actually gonna care, but now I care. I care and I'm confused by it. Uh I guess here's the question. Let's see, I don't notice anything either. Huh. It could be on my hand. Yeah, it's on my end then. That's weird. Yeah, all of my all of my sound effects are are delayed by like I want to say half a second to a full second. Oh, Drakies are attacking. Oh, that's adorable. Look at that. It's worked out perfectly. Okay. I mean, mostly perfectly. I think I'm actually going to destroy this gate. We only want one gate. Right here. <clears throat> and my headphones plugged in the whole... Uh, all the way. Oh, uh, they should be. Oh, whatever. I'll just... I'll just live with it. Honestly, it took me what? How many hours? Almost three hours to even notice that the sound effects are super desynced on my end, so whatever is whatever it is, it's something I can live with. At least until I can like figure uh, figure it out for tomorrow. But yeah, I've I've got like a completely new um the gate to have a uh, wood floor so bad. Oh right. Uh right here. Alternatively well, it doesn't need to have a wood floor so bad. It just needs to be balanced. Like that. Because that looks, that looks halfway acceptable. I guess what I should... Eh, no, 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 no. It looks better. But yeah, we should go with we should go with the wood floor. I'd like to do something like uh, stone, but I can't do that. Where'd that? Oh, I actually have no idea. Double gate gate keeps any dracky that get in. Uh, will your people do the chokehold? Except for they don't get in that first gate at all. Ooh, hey, we're done with this. Bago. So this should be the 50 wheat we're looking for. There we go. Yay! All our hard work has finally paid off. 50 sheaves of golden wheat harvested and ready to use. Wheat has always been a symbol of prosperity here in Furrowfield. There's just so much food you can make with it. We'll never go hungry again. Especially now that you're here, dude. I... Expect that your skills as a builder probably extend to making delicious dishes, too. Oh, and look, dude, the Dia Tree. Yeah, wow, the Dia Tree is looking yeah. stronger than ever. Uh, yeah. Eggling heel slimes, dude, you've done it. You've completed every one of the pastor's tasks. You have rebuilt Furrowfield's fields. 
and produced a bountiful harvest. The earth itself has been imbued with the power of growth. It is this that has given strength to the deer tree. In turn, the great tree will extend her blessings to your farm, protecting the fruits of your labor with her holy power. So the deer tree gives strength to the farm, and the farm gives strength to the deer tree. They both help each other. Indeed, very astute of you, child. But now you have outlived your usefulness. Your farming career ends here. What? I jest, I jest. Keep your beard on. Our work is not done yet. After all, there's still more we must do to see the deity attain her true form. There is. Well, I suppose it did all seem a little bit too easy. You wish to see the deity restored to her full strength. You'll have no choice but to work your fingers to the bone in her service. I shall explain to you soon enough what must next be achieved. But for now, let me bid you congratulations on a hard task well done. I love the little art that they did for the, the quests and tasks and stuff. It's, it's really adorable. Don't celebrate too soon. Something tells me we got company. Oh, I have to talk to him. I guess I'll save. I can smell when a fight's brewing, dude. This whole place stinks of it. I don't know if it's the tree you've grown, or that bill you keep ringing, but something's got the monsters in a seriously bad mood. We need to kit out anyone who can fight with the best weapons we can build. And that includes me, okay? So are we ready to bash in some baddies? Eh, probably fine. Don't worry about the town getting damaged. We can always repair it once the fighting's finished. Just concentrate on teaching those rotters a lesson. Not a problem. Now, let's get out there and cause some carnage. See, am I playing any ADF tonight? Unfortunately, I'm really tired, so I can't so much as even sit in a chair com comfortably. Uh, at least my regular office chair. So I will be doing, um... Uh, I will be doing, uh, EDF tomorrow night, probably. I think. I don't know. I, going to the zoo today was not a planned occurrence. Uh, but I'll make it work. Along the way, because, yeah... I would love to play EDF. I just would also love to play EDF uh, well, as opposed to just being like, I don't know, airstrike. Because if you notice, I'm not even really bothering to avoid hits here. I'm just kind of going for it. I'm putting most of my energy into commentary and nothing else. We were at the zoo earlier today. And uh, let me tell you, elephant dogs are huge. <laughs> that seems un irrelevant, but we were seeing the, uh, uh, there was the stupid bamboo, uh, bamboo, baboon monster. And it's just, you know, it's got its ass on full, full display. And, uh, it always bugs me when you, yeah, it, it always bugs me when I see, like, the, the like, really bright, bright blue butt of, like, monkeys and whatnot. But we, we were just, like, hanging out watching the, the elephants go by. And we're like, oh, hey, it's the male elephant. Oh, boy. Because it was just swinging in the wind. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what the f Sorry. It was just notable. Because we were joking about it last night. And then, yeah. Uh... It was a sight. Uh, we kind of we kind of lucked out because like every single time the elephant walks by, Moose and Joe's kid, uh, their nine-year-old daughter was ow, uh, nowhere nearby or like distracted by Pokemon. We're like, don't look, Lily, and she's like, what? And he's like, no, don't look. So a mature stream. I, I mean, whoops. Two of the guys are fighting bare fists. Uh, yeah. 
So be it. Doesn't even matter that much. Hey, we leveled up. Valroth gets stronger, and dude reaches level 5. His maximum HP goes up. And we get a new recipe. Barbed blade. Wooden sword with sharp pointed protrusions. Attack plus 28. Everyone, are you... Is everyone all right? What's it to you? Those monsters were from the children of Hargon. Called your friends over, did you? I knew it! Now that we're, we've done everything as we needed to do to grow the deity, you don't need us anymore! You want us dead! I don't think that's the case. The pastor's been here with us the whole time. Even if he wanted to, he couldn't have passed a message to the monsters. And he also said that we need, we still need to do more to keep the deity tree growing. That's true. Why would he want us dead? It doesn't make any sense. Ah. <sighs> Your name is Rosie. Yes, tell me, Rosie. Why are you so desperate to see the Furrowfield farm rebuilt? Why? Well, it's just always been my dream, I suppose. I see. Everyone did great today. Let's leave any talk of tasks or missions until tomorrow. I think we've all had enough excitement for one day. I'm going to sleep with my head resting on a pillow of wheat under a warm blanket of cabbage leaves. And I expect you to do the same, dude. It's a Frillfield way. To this deity thing, it's still got a ways to go, right? That said, it's come a long way already. When it first appeared, it was nothing more than a weedy sapling. It just goes to show how powerful your building skills are. And then there's this Children of Hargon mob. What do you think their deal is, dude? Huh? You heard that Hargon's already been defeated by the science of, of Erdrick and his forces were scattered to the winds? That's weird. They still seem to be in charge around here. There's something fishy going on on this island. The thing that gets me the most is everyone saying that builders bring destruction and despair. What's the story behind all that? You two, what do you gain in waking so early if you only proceed to waste the day with idle chatter? There's still more that needs to be done in order to see the deity return to her full strength. Come and hear what you must do. I wonder if he's being mind controlled by the deity or something to that effect. Because he's saying her with a capital H. I don't know. Before we begin, Builder, tell me, what are your thoughts about young Rose? Her cheery outlook and irre irrepressible optimism make it all but impossible for me to maintain my dark and brooding demeanor. And so it is for her sake, as much as my own, that I ask you to tackle these next, next, ta ah, these next tasks. Come, my vassals, gather round. But first, allow me to offer my apologies for the recent attack. Know that I did not call my, for my allies to strike. However, the very fact that I am here may well have... Huh? Everyone look at the sky! Is this... Huh? Hey, isn't that one of one of those whatchamacallits? It's a spoil spore. And there's one over there and one over there too. Where'd all these blaming spoil spores come from all of a sudden? What's going on with the sky? Has this weird wind got something to do with it? Alas, it seems the ill wind blows over Feral Field once more. It has been some time since it last cursed these lands. This accursed storm is the source of the spoil spores. It was by this wind that so much of the soil in this island was ruined. No, I 
Hang on a minute. Do you mean to say this stupid storm's gonna muck up all our hard work? But 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 everything was going so well. We can't let those horrible spoil spores destroy our dreams. We have to do something. The spoil spores breathe in the air around them, converted into vile vapor. When they explode, it is this noxious gas which befouls the earth around them. Then if we stop them from breathing the air in, wouldn't they wither away without doing any damage? Perhaps. I know of no matter of stopping the ill wind itself, but with dude's help, we may be able to destroy its evil fruit. You have to try, dude. There are five spoil spores in the form, uh, form, farm. Block them in on every side to stop them breathing. Every side, you say? Well, that's actually really easy. It, oh. Does that include top? Yep, there it goes. Did it work? Oh my goodness, it worked! The spoil spore is completely gone. You're amazing, dude. These rotten things have caused so much suffering. It's hard to believe we could have destroyed them so easily if only we had a builder. There's still four of them left, though. We have to destroy them all. Please don't you dare destroy my precious gateway. I'm going to be besides myself. I worked hard on that gate. There's a little bit more I want to do on it while we're here, by the way. You're going to be like, Builder, what are you doing? Bil builder. Builder, you got important things to do. Why are you working on that gate of yours? I actually wanted to have uh, that, like, stair-based run-up going on this side, too. I don't actually know if it looks better. I don't know. I'll think about it. I can just put blocks on top of them. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, sweet. Food. Oh, I certainly need to make make some more, uh... Some more cabbage things. Let's see. Skeletons destroy fencing and blocks. Good to know. Though most skeletons aren't going to reach where I am, hopefully. Oh. Oh, if I just press up, I access my, my bag. If I press down, it sends whatever my current thing is. Well, that's convenient. They really quality of life this, uh... This sequel well. Yippee! That's it. That's all of them. Thank you so much, dude. Now, if only we could do something about the ill wind. But at least we got rid of the spoil spores. Come on. Let's go and tell the pastor. And make a kitchen. Then they might cook. Unfortunately, I have no means of making a kitchen. Like, eventually, yes. But, unfortunately, at least currently, I have no means of, of making a kitchen without the... Without the proper, like, stations and room layouts and whatnot. Uh, even if I wanted to, I don't think I can figure out how to do it. Because, uh, unfortunately, a lot of progress like that is hard-locked uh, to the gameplay. And so eventually... Maybe we'll get some kind of, uh, cooking setup. Maybe. But until then, 